Hey, it's Doug Cunnington here from Niche Site Project. We're going to take a quick look at configuring W3 Total Cache. So you will need to go and navigate over to your, your plugins area, search for this plugin, install it, and activate it. This should just take you a couple, couple minutes here. So once you get it installed, you can navigate over to the performance section in the general settings in your WordPress dashboard. So first off, uh, don't check this uh, general settings. We'll go through and check this stuff uh, manually. So for the page cache, we'll leave it as, uh, or you want to check that as enabled with a uh, disk enhanced. For minify, you will enable that, uh, set that on to manual mode, and minify cache method as disk, and the rest of these uh, can be left as the, the default. For the database cache, so if you are not using a CDN, you should check this to cache your database. I'm actually using a CDN, and we'll talk about that in the next step. So that's why I don't have database caching enabled. Moving down to object caching, uh, go ahead and check that one, and the method should be disk. For the browser caching, uh, you will enable that. Uh, as I mentioned, the CDN is enabled for me, and I use Mac CDN. I think uh, they're a little higher quality than the free Cloudflare version that you may see uh, around pretty often. So the cost for Mac CDN is, is nominal. Um, per month is something like $7. So that's why I use that one and the results are fantastic. I don't check uh, the reverse proxy. Um, no monitoring, no licensing. Um, and I have all these uh, miscellaneous set as uh, default. And that's about it. I don't really have anything else checked here. And once you have everything set up, you can save all settings.